Hey everyone, welcome. Rabbit here with Rabbit Mining. And today we are going to look at uh, running multiple mixed cards on one rig with two miners on Hive OS. So you can see here we're going to go through the cards. This is a 3060 Ti Gigabyte. We've got a 5700 XT, another 5700 XT. Uh, RX 580 8 gig, another RX 580 8 gig, and another RX 580 8 gig, uh, 570 8 gig, a 5600 XT Red Devil, a 3060 Ti from Zotac, and another Gigabyte 3060 Ti. What I'm going to be doing is show you how I have them running now. I am running Hive OS using Team Red Miner as well as T Rex Miner on the two card system AMD and Nvidia mixed rig some people are having troubles trying to get mixed rigs set up so I'm just going to show you my settings here how I have them running and why I prefer them over just using like say straight Phoenix miner okay so before I actually show you how to set this up there's a couple things I want to go through first you always check your uh, reported hash rate at the pool and as you can see here it is showing 217 but I'm averaging 268 with a current of 464 or average of 468 not 268 and you can see right here before people start saying in the comments that it's going up and down up and down up and down I'm going to explain to you why my rigs are not actually going up and down it is reporting based off two miners now this is team red miner and t-rex as you can see here both running on the same same rig Therefore, it is, it's going back and forth between these two hash rates is what it's actually doing. So the reported hash rate is sometimes 185, sometimes 275.5. It is not the total. So keep that in mind when you go back to your pool and look at it and wondering why this is going up and down. Sometimes you're reported. I also have my gaming PC here uh, doing some mining as well. So there's another 29 mega hash on there. Going towards the pool, that's why it's not what... Uh, Hive OS is uh, saying so yeah so I have that little extra mega hash added on but for the most part here it is you can see reported 275 we'll go back here and right here 275.5 is our team red miner so our AMD rig that's the reported hash rate of that so if you start noticing this like I said that's because this will keep going back and forth to your reported hash rate based on these two miners running so you don't have to worry about it your rigs are not going down it is straightforward so I'm going to go through some power consumption here because with the new team red miner update you do use quite a bit less power that's why i like to use that over phoenix miner because phoenix miner runs can run all these cards all by itself you won't have to use uh separate miners and all that but i'm basing this off my setup because i find this to run the best way for most efficiency so we're just going to look at that here so like i said team red miner and t-rex t-rex is running the 3060 cards Team Red Miner is running all the 580s, 5700s, 580s, 5600, 570, and the other 5700. Keep in mind, a uh, few videos back, these are 5700 XTs, which I did flash to non-XTs to save a little bit of power. So, uh, yeah, so that's why these are not stating XTs when they actually are. T-Rex and Team Red Miner were slightly under 1300 watts with the odd 1301 peak, or oh, 1304 there. But for the most part, we are just under 1300 watts. So just before I turn this off, I just wanted to show you that I am indeed using uh, Team Red Miner and T-Rex here again on Ethermine with the same wallet, same address and everything. So I'm gonna unset this and I will go into Phoenix Miner. All right, so HiveOS website is doing this data load error. It does that sometimes. It must be having some type of trouble, but we are now unset on that flight sheet. We're gonna load our Phoenix Miner, which you can see N and A, it is set for NVIDIA and AMD. Phoenix Runner, Phoenix Miner for that part, runs on both cards. So that is why a lot of people find it popular. It does report higher hash rates, but that is still to be determined if it is lying to you or not. That is a totally different topic on its own. So now we're loading Phoenix Miner. We're gonna go back to the wall there and take a look at our power. So reason number one why I don't like Phoenix Miner, especially with the 3000 series GPUs, is they have not updated or fixed their uh, DAG file issue on all the cards. We still have some here. It used to happen on one of these gigabytes, but it seems to be working now. But still, these Zotac cards, as soon as they start it up, is getting a rejected share. Uh, if we scroll up, but it doesn't want to at the present moment in time. Uh, there's another one actually right there. So GPU 8. Where's GPU? Oh, yeah. 
they're all messed up so yeah so starting over again let's hit some refresh button so yeah same with the zotac two rejected shares already so you do have to load this with a slight deal here we'll show you we have to put in a 40 second timer we're going to save that you know, shut down the flight sheet and restart it because you got to load your DAG file without the overclock settings in or you will get rejected shares on some 3000 series GPUs, which is a problem that Phoenix Miner has been having on top of what I'm about to show you with the power at the wall with AMD cards. Okay, so now you can see we're up and running, no rejected shares since we put in that 40 second delay. And what that simply means is it loads all the DAG files and will not apply any overclocks until 40 seconds once that point hits then your overclocks are on and you're set mining. Now, as you can see, uh, all the other hash rates are the same, but for the most part, with the 5700s, it does report a higher hash rate. Uh, a lot of us know this. Uh, I'm still never, it's hard to test right now, actually, with the gas fees going up and down, up and down, and your shares and the difficulty level always rising constantly as uh, since the boom happened. But So we don't actually know if it's lying to you or not 100% sure, but... It is the only miner that seems to do this on 5700, so I'm thinking it could be like a glitch. I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, so we're running here. Let's go look at our power uh, consumption and see exactly what's going on at the wall. Well, as you can see, we're hitting like 1319 and the odd spike to 1323 or so. Now, after about, actually it was 1327 there, but after like about an hour or two, it'll actually creep up about another 10 to 15 watts. So that's something to watch out for. And that is only off the few cards that I have. A massive farm or a rig or something, like 20 watts here, 30 watts there, you know, across multiple rigs, it will start to add up and you'll just be wasting power. Uh, especially with AMD cards when it comes to Phoenix versus Team Red Miner. Now, just before I show you how to actually set this up with two separate miners and one rig, I just wanted to point out here, we took the delay in seconds off, as you can see right here, we'll just hit it save again to make sure. Now NB Miner did fix this issue and NB Miner does work with both cards, Nvidia and AMD. So I'm just gonna send that to the moon right there. Hope you guys don't mind, I'm using my camera to record this instead of actually using my desktop. I just wanna keep the sound the same level because it does change when I go back and forth between camera and desktop. So bear with me on that. So here we are in NB Miner, and as you can see, the cards are not split around. It is running our 461.6 mega hash. So this is what will be at your reported pool. Like I said at the beginning of the video, how when you use two separate ones, it'll bounce back and forth. But now it'll be a steady reported one hash rate if you were to use like Phoenix or this. But I do not prefer these methods because of, uh, I don't like, miners i guess that are made for everything i prefer the ones that are tuned per each type of card so yeah we're good here uh, mb miner did fix the 3000 series cards from getting the rejected shares as you can see there's no rejected shares here so we're going to look at the power consumption see what or how it compares to team red miner t-rex combo and phoenix miner and then i'll show you how to set this up for using two separate miners on hive os okay so here we are with nb miner and wow we're at 1350 it hit there 1339 so it looks like 1339 to 1350 we're bouncing around with NB Miner. So that is using quite a bit more power than even Phoenix at the moment. But remember, Phoenix does creep up, so maybe these do equal out. Eventually, NB Miner just hits it sooner. So I'm going to show you how to set up that... Uh, whoa, running out of focus there. Sorry, guys. But yeah, we'll show you how to set up that miner now. So I'm going to show you guys how to set this up now. And if you do have any troubles or you need help with something else or anything at all, just... Discord link is in the description. There's people that I can help. Myself, I can help included. And, you know, just ask the questions, send in rig pictures, all sorts of stuff. Have fun times in the Discord. But anyway, uh, here we got to go to wallets. If you've never done this before, I'm just going to do it right from scratch. So you're going to have to add your wallet. Pick your coin. We're going to be going to Ethereum. So just type in F, pick your coin, paste your wallet in here that you're using, enter your name. So any type of mumbo jumbo that you will remember where it's from. <laughs> And of course your source if you want, you can put in Coinbase if it's from Coinbase or whatever like so. Uh, I don't usually deal with these parts, fetch wallet balance, I haven't got this to work yet or I just haven't set it up right but maybe some other time I'll actually look into it but it doesn't really bother me. So then you, know, you just hit your create and your wallet is set. Okay now for the actual flight sheet itself which is, well the flight sheet is what pretty much tells you to mine if you're in Windows, it's your bat file, your config that you just set it. So here. We're going to pick our coin, so we're going to go to Ethereum, Eth, 
select our wallet that we made. I obviously already have everything. Uh, we're going to go to Ethermine. That is what I use. Then we're going to pick which one. I'm in the west of Canada. Enter. We're going to pick our miner. So first one we're going to pick here is Team Red Miner. And then we're going to name our flight. Uh, no, never mind. We don't do that yet. So now we have our setup. This will run off AMD. We're going to add another miner. So same thing. We're going to do it all over again. We're going to go Eth. Uh, we're going to use the same wallet. We're going to use the same pool. That way everything points to the exact same place. So ether mine. There we go. We're going to go to west again, obviously. And we're going to pick our miner. This time we're going to use T-Rex. And then you name it whatever you want. Blah, 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 blah. Just like so. You know, that looks like a wicked name. That'll send us to the moon, no problem. We'll hit the create flight sheet. Your uh, flight sheet will be made. And for the final part here, all you got to do is click on your rig. You'll go to your flight sheet. I obviously have mine running already. Oh, no, we're running MB miner still. Whoa, good thing we went into this again. I almost forgot about that. So we are canceling that. <laughs> oh, MB miner, we're using too much power. We don't even care. So here we are. I named mine, obviously. Mixed cards here. We have crypto.com for our wallet. We got Ethermine. We're using Team Red and T Rex. So you just send that to the moon and you're off. You're mining Ethereum with a mixed card rig. Uh, with uh, what do we got here team red miner and t-rex uh, flawlessly t-rex like i said fixed uh, the 3000 dag issue just like mb miner but it doesn't use the power but i think that power issue is mostly coming from the amd cards with tm red miner actually dropping that down but so we are all set now we're using team red miner overview we'll go to our rigs here they will boot up and we just got to wait for it to kick in Oh, and yeah, actually up here you can see how it does automatically select AMD based on whatever cards. And if you want to do some tuning, you can pick your separate card types all by itself just by flipping the switch. So, yeah, Hive OS makes everything so easy. Here's our NVIDIA cards, our 33060s. Swap over to AMD, and there's all our AMD cards for all their settings. So it is that easy. So any questions, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Rabbit out. Oh, look at that. They all came in. All right. Peace out. Rabbit out.